Spooky Girl 7 here and as always we have a ton of Pokemon Go news to cover so if you've been missing out on my live streams the last couple of days there are a lot of things going on in Pokemon Go that I thought I should let you guys know about so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first we do have some new research breakthrough boxes. Right now we can get Ho-Oh, Lugia, Latios, and Latios from those research breakthrough boxes and they can all be shiny so this is a great way to hunt for those shiny legendaries if you did not get them in their raids in the past. And of course along with the new research breakthrough we have some new field research tasks so let's talk about what those are. So first things first, the Lapras task of win five gym battles has gone away. Now we do still have the win five gym battles task, but instead of getting a Lapras when you complete it, you will now get a Grimer. So it's sad because that's like one less way we can get shiny Lapras in Pokemon Go, but at least it's a good way to get shiny Grimer in Pokemon Go. I guess that's one upside to it. And we actually have a brand new research task with a new shiny Pokemon. So if you get the task of catching five water type Pokemon, you can get a seal and a seal can now be shiny in Pokemon Go. So we have a brand new shiny and you can also get it in the wild as well but I think this research task is going to be a great way to get it because if you're like me and you don't live in a biome where seal spawns very much this is like your only chance. So I love when they introduce new shiny Pokemon through field research. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to hunt down. And one more new thing that I can confirm with the new field research for May is that the catch 10 eyesight Pokemon task is gone. So I actually still have one of those tasks right now that I haven't completed yet. Uh, if you don't know that one gave you a Kabuto before and it's like a good way to hunt shiny Kabuto so I'm kind of sad that it's gone but it is a really hard task to complete like I barely see eyesight Pokemon and I think that's the case for most people so I guess it's good that that task is gone now because a lot of people have been complaining about it so you're no longer gonna have to worry about getting that task and throwing it away. So next up let's talk about what the next legendary raid boss is going to be in Pokemon Go after Groudon leaves. So Groudon leaves tomorrow May 2nd at 1 p.m. Pacific time and after that we don't know what the new legendary Pokemon is going to be. Now it could be Regigigas. Regigigas is a generation 4 legendary that we have not seen in Pokemon Go yet. So it could be that one and other than that uh, the only ones that we don't have so far from gen 4 are all mythical Pokemon. So I think these mythicals are either going to be EX raid bosses or they're going to have special research quests. So the only one we don't have is Regigigas. Uh, they could recycle an old legendary though. They could give us all three of the Regis again, which I really hope they don't do that, but they could. Um, I'm thinking we're a little bit overdue for a water festival event. We usually have one each year. I think the first year we had one in March and then we had one last year in April. So this one would be a little bit late, but we could still have a water festival event and maybe the legendary Pokemon for that event would be Kyogre and we could get shiny Kyogre from raids. Uh, that would be pretty cool since I don't have the shiny yet. I know they've recycled Kyogre a lot. But that's a possibility but other than that I don't have very many legendaries in mind of what could be next. And that leads me into this next little bit of news which I think is very strange and kind of cool but kind of not at the same time. So we do have three new legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Go from Generation 4. They are the Lake Guardian Trio, Mesprit, Uxie, and Azelf. So these Pokemon have actually been released in the wild. The first ever wild legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Now this is how I thought they would release legendary Pokemon in the first place. Like when the game first came out, this is what I thought they would do. And it's kind of cool that they finally done this. So let's talk about like how it works right now. So each of these legendaries is a regional exclusive. So right now in the Americas and Greenland you can catch Azelf. And in the Asia Pacific region you can catch Uxie. And in Europe I think you can catch Mesprit. I'm not sure what other regions Mesprit is available in. But as of now we can confirm all of those regions for those legendaries. So they are regional exclusive. You do have to travel for them. And I've actually heard that whenever these Pokemon spawn in the wild, they despawn within like five minutes. Like they're very, very rare to find in the first place. Like you're probably not going to find one. It has to just be extremely lucky for you to actually find one. Like they're supposed to be really rare. So they're really rare and if you do see one, you better hurry and catch it because everyone's saying that they despawn super fast. Like normally spawns of Pokemon Go last between 30 minutes and an hour. I think it just depends on the spawn itself and which Pokemon it is, but for these they only last for about 5 minutes. So if you do find one of these Pokemon in the wild, just catch it. Don't wait around. You don't know how long it's been there. You don't know how much longer it's going to be there. So like I said, they're going to be extremely rare and they only spawn for 5 minutes. So one concern I have about these new legendaries spawning in the wild is that it's going to be really hard for legit organic players to get these legendary Pokemon and I think that's cool honestly. I like the fact that it's 
rare I think legendary Pokemon should be rare and it's cool to have that sense of wonder like oh maybe one day I'll stumble across one of these legendaries but the only thing is there are a lot of spoofers in the community I'm not even hating on you guys I'm just saying my opinion like the spoofers kind of devalue these legendaries just a little bit because they can snipe all three of these legendaries from all the different regions within just like an hour or so I don't know how quickly they've done it but I've seen a lot of people doing it already and it kind of devalues it a little bit but I guess my answer can't really stop cheating like it's always gonna happen and I guess we shouldn't pay any attention to the people that cheat for them I know a lot of you guys watching probably spoof and you probably cheated and it's just whatever I don't know that's just kind of my opinion on it I feel like that's one reason why I don't like these wild spawns uh, it seems like not many legit players are going to be getting these legendaries and a lot of cheaters will but at the end of the day it's still a cool concept and if I ever do stumble across one of these legendaries it will be amazing so the only one I can get in America is Azelf but if I ever travel and get another one that would be really cool so this release of these legendaries in the wild happened like two nights ago and on that same night we had an accidental generation 4 Pokemon release so Shellos from the east and west regions both got released to Pokemon Go so if you guys don't know in the main series in the Sinnoh region there is a Pokemon named Shellos and it has two separate forms that you can get in different parts of the game and they accidentally released them the other night in Pokemon Go and they spawned for like 30 minutes before they were gone forever nobody has seen them since so the people that did catch a Shellos within that 30 minute window consider yourself very lucky because we don't know when they're actually going to be released in Pokemon Go I have no idea what happened I think Niantic just hit the wrong button or something I think it's kind of hilarious because it was just a really weird night. First they released the legendaries in the wild. People were confused about that. And then they released the Shellos all of a sudden without any warning. No other new Gen 4 Pokemon. And then 30 minutes later they all disappeared. It's very strange. But I don't know when they're actually going to come out in Pokemon Go. I was really excited when I found out they were released. But I thought they were going to stay there. So I wasn't rushing to get them or anything. And now they're gone. So I guess we'll just have to wait around. But if you do have a Shellos right now in Pokemon Go definitely hold on to it because who knows when it's actually going to be here and i did want to mention since shellos east and west are regional in the games i think these are going to be regional pokemon and pokemon go i don't think they're supposed to be spawning in the same region now when they did this accidental release uh both shellos were spawning in all regions but i don't really think that's how they're going to do it when they actually release it but maybe now they messed up and it's too late i don't know what they're going to do with shellos what a fail guys what a fail but honestly i think a new gen 4 wave is going to be coming soon at least this summer during go fest and everything we're going to get a lot of new gen 4 pokemon soon and hopefully shellos will be a part of that okay so this next part that i want to talk about is pretty exciting guys i got a ticket to go fest chicago i am officially going guys i am so excited so my friend ryan kramer actually got me a ticket to go fest uh, he got accepted in the drawing and he entered my username and got me a ticket so everybody thank ryan in the comments down below i cannot thank him enough i have a ticket to go fest chicago like i was gonna go to chicago either way um just for the people in chicago we'll have special spawns even outside of go fest so I was going to go anyways, but now I'm excited because I can actually participate in the event, so I cannot wait. I'm actually going on the Saturday, I think June 15th, in the south entrance of the park. So let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be there the same day as me. Um, I'm actually going to be in Chicago for like all of the days of the event, so I'm sure at some point I'm going to plan a meetup in Chicago, probably with other Pokemon Go YouTubers. So if you want to meet me in Chicago, hopefully we can hook something up. Guys, I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. So many of my content creator friends are going to be there and so many of my subscribers are going to be there. And last year, GoFest was life changing for me. It was the best trip I've ever had. It was amazing. It was the first time I ever met any subscribers or YouTubers. It was such a huge trip and I can't wait to relive it again this year. And I've made so many more friends online. I've gotten so many more subscribers. So it's going to be an even bigger event. I cannot wait. So like I said, let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be going to GoFest, what day you're going. And guys, I cannot be more thankful for getting a ticket. So like I said, thank you so much, Ryan. I really do appreciate this so much. And I also wanted to mention, if you're still stressed out about getting a ticket to GoFest Chicago, don't stress it just yet. They did announce yesterday that the Saturday event has officially been sold out. But we still have three other days of the event that are available and they're still doing ticket drawings so don't stress out just yet don't lose hope there's a lot of tickets available still i knew the saturday would sell out first because a lot of people are off work and out of school on saturdays 
but these other dates I think it's gonna be Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday so I think we have Thursday Friday and Sunday still available so don't stress it too much uh, I wouldn't lose hope until like the very last second because honestly even if you don't get selected maybe one of your friends will and they will help you get a ticket because if you do get accepted in the drawing you have I think four spots to buy tickets for your friends so either way don't stress it until the very end I really hope you guys get tickets I know not everybody can get a ticket but I think more people are gonna actually get tickets for GoFest this year than last year last year a lot of scalpers bought tickets and never actually sold them because they were asking such a high price for them so even though this system this year is a little bit torturous and annoying and gives everyone anxiety I think it will work out better in the long run so like I said don't give up hope and I hope to see you guys in Chicago and one last thing before I go guys the Earth Day rewards will end tomorrow May 2nd at 1 p.m. Pacific time so that means Groudon raids shiny diglet spawns and the ground type spawns will be gone also the double catch candy and double catch stardust will be gone so just keep that in mind guys i still don't have a shiny diglet i live streamed a couple of times during this event and haven't found one then i haven't found one off camera or off stream i don't know what's going on i've checked quite a few at this point and still haven't found one but wish me luck on that journey we still have like a little bit less than 24 hours to get a shiny diglet at the time that i'm posting this video you have about 20 hours left so good luck to everyone and wish me luck but guys I guess I'm done with this video I just wanted to update you guys on everything it seems like there's always a lot going on in Pokemon Go so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it make sure you smash that like button hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang and I will see y'all in the next video bye